Hello there, Play the Gamers, it's Charlie, welcome back to Central. Today I'm going to be going through a few more multiplayer Easter eggs with you all, and today I'm going to start off with Nuketown 2025. So in this map, we have a couple of Easter eggs as well, and I guess some that aren't really that important, so I'm not going to show you. Uh, but two really stood out in my mind, and I'm going to show you them now. So this is all live, so I'm just going to run up to this house here, and show you a Dropa Stone. Now, this little buddy has popped up from a long time ago, and if you don't know what a dropper stone is, I'll leave a link to the video bended um, about dropper stones a while back, and he actually went into full depth um, explanation about dropper stones, what they are, and uh, if they serve any purpose in a zombie storyline, and I think it's just there to sort of hint towards the story of Shangri-La and everything, if you guys remember. Um, and these can actually be found in um, Shangri-La itself, along with Moon as well, in the Biodome. However, they've sort of um, changed it. They've changed it to make it look like an actual Dropa Stone from um, the Himalayas. So it actually looks really nice now. It looks really cool. Um, we have had Dropa Stones before as well. We've had like uh, the small little red ones. And those are still in some of the maps now. And you can also see them in um, 5 as well, the zombie maps. Some pretty cool stuff there. I like how they've linked it all back to Shangri-La. But what's it doing in Nuketown? Probably just hinting towards a Nuketown map, which we already have. Now to the right of the Dropa Stone, we actually have the classic Nuketown sign. And this is a really sweet easter egg. Because we've also got the double rainbow above it as well. Um, but yeah, that's a nice addition to the map, I thought. Um, just good old tray up, bringing back the Nuketown classic stuff, and we also have some leaflets down there advertising Nuketown 2025. Um, so that's really about it for this um, for this map. However, I, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the mailboxes again. Uh, so here we have Mason, and these were just um, just like the ones in the previous Nuketown map as well. We got Woods. Um, again, just the same, and we also have two different names outside here. It seems as if this says Mason Firth, I'm not too sure, or Mason Fur 7H, I don't know. Um, and this one seems as if it's a sort of username, it says Hogger 77, so I'm not sure what those two are related to. However, yeah, some pretty sweet Easter eggs in Nuketown, I think. I like the dropstone still, that's really nice, and I like how they've retextured it. Um, it looks really sweet, and uh, the drop stone can also be found in the bedroom. Is it a bedroom? I think it's the bedroom up here, or the office. Yeah, the office. See, there's one here as well. So now I'm going to switch over to Hijacked, where I found something very nice. So make sure the Alright, so we're in Hijacked here, and it's pretty simple to get to this easter egg. This is the right spawn you want to be at as well, so make sure you get over here as well. So all you have to do, again, look quickly, just a drop a stone there the red one I was just talking about. Um, what you're going to want to do is head upstairs, go to this room here, and what I found was really, really cool. It's actually here. See that? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? That is the pylon from the Transit Easter Egg side quest. And it's pretty strange. It's just been plotted on this sort of abstract art in the map hijacked. And I guess it's just there to sort of hit towards zombies yet again. But in the other, the other sort of building, opposite that one, we have the full portrait of the abstract art right here. And it's just sort of indicating like wavelengths going down here a little bit. But then I guess when the wavelengths reach this portrait, they can sort of act as if um, it's the cornfield and the pylon just sort of over there in the middle of it. So it's again, it's a really cool easter egg and I guess you can sort of assume that's the bus. <laughs> <laughs> That's the road off the transit and off we go. But again, like I said, really sweet easter egg. I didn't think they were going to add like a zombie sort of easter egg to this game. Um, other than the drop stones. But yeah, that's really cool. So I hope that they actually um, like do this with the DLC as well. When they get some DLC, they'll put in some more zombie easter eggs like they did with the first game. And that would be really cool to actually find and make videos on. So if you guys have actually found any other easter eggs in multiplayer and you want them to go up on YouTube, then please don't hesitate to tell us. Um, go ahead, message us what you found and we will give you 100% credit. Your name will go out there along with your YouTube channel or anything else, your PSN, and it will be sweet. So thank you for watching, guys. It's been Charlie with a few more Easter eggs from multiplayer, and I will see you all soon. Take care. Goodbye.